Police are trying to get a handle on a spike in gun violence. More than 100 shootings in the last three months alone. The department has adopted a new program they hope can bring those numbers down, and they're already making progress. My granddaughters, they have instructions. They can only go this way so far and this way so far. This is what you can usually find Kavina Littlejohn's grandchildren doing, playing outside and making TikToks. But it's the simple fact of sometimes being outside of their east side home that has her on edge. I'm actually at the point right now where I'm looking to relocate. I am so tired of you can't come outside. You don't know the cars are riding around with the tenant windows and loud music. You don't know who in there or who they looking for. It's the sound of gunfire. She just doesn't want to hear anymore. And then these young people are killing, killing each other. It's been one of the most violent summers, not only in Buffalo, but across the nation. As of Friday morning, 199 people have been shot in Buffalo this year. 120 since June 1st. Right now, our shootings for the year are up uh, approximately 71% from last year. I think the pandemic absolutely has a lot to do with it, which it's all the offshoots that come from that. Last month, we told you about the new shoot review program. Buffalo adopted a weekly meeting model from Milwaukee. The department meets each week with local and federal law enforcement partners to target shooters and illegal gun owners. And Deputy Commissioner Grimalia says it's already seeing success. Um, we were able to uh, link him to a gun and get him into custody on a gun case that was a topic brought up in shoot review. Uh, there were some challenges with it, but we were able to get past those challenges again based on the conversations in the room. And we're hoping that that, uh, you know, can prove uh, beneficial for other cases going forward. For Kavina, she sees what happens when people turn to guns and especially now when students are not in traditional school. She says there needs to be more for youth to do to find an interest so they don't fall down a dangerous path.